What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this weakness policy Magnezone team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Shout out to my boy Randy for dropping this team. If you guys want to drop teams for me, follow me on my Instagram, jeans underscore YouTube. Link is in the description below. DM me, send me the teams, but yo, Jeans, try this team out. Teams that I am looking for, that I'll probably have like a high chance of buying, is a Klefki team. I have not gotten my hands on a Klefki team. So if you guys have one of them, send them over to me, and I would love to take a look at them. But rocking out on this team, we got big boy Braviary over here with Defiant as his ability and Assault Fest. Everybody knows Braviary is so good. I really do love it with the Life Orb, but um, we gave it to Dragapult this time. This team has Dragapult with the Life Orb, but Braviary still rocks out. It has Brave Bird, Close Combat, Iron Head for coverage, and Giga Impact. Two moves that I don't really see on Braviary, so that's going to be fun to try out. We got Life Orb, Dragapult as well. Clear Body, Outrage, Phantom Force, Stealing, and Protect. Kind of normal move set for him. Just Outrage is different. We usually use like Dragon Darts or uh, Draco Meteor if he's special attacking, but Outrage is going to work just fine. We got Hydreigon, so we got Double Dragon going on here. Hydreigon is so good. I love Hydreigon, especially with the Choice Scarf. I just feel like he gets that extra speed boost. He's able to roll out. He's got Dark Pulse for Stab, Dragon Pulse for Stab, and then two coverage moves with Flash Cannon and Earth Power. Then we got our boy Weakness Policy Magnezone. Sturdy as its ability, so it cannot get one hit. I love that ability. It's kind of like he has two items. It's kind of like he has the Focus Ash and the Weakness Policy, so then he can rock out with that. He's got T-Bolt, Flash Cannon, both Stab, Ally Switch to throw off opponents, and Body Press for our high defense bulkiness. Then we got Togekiss. Everyone loves Togekiss. Normal moveset. I really do like this moveset here. And then in the final spot, we got Grim Snarl. And you guys know I'm a sucker for screen teams. I love screens for some reason. I feel like I always play better with teams with screens. This one has Reflect, Light Screen with the Light Clay, T-Wave to Pester and Slow Down Pokemon, and Spirit Break as our damage move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen. Let's get after it. Let's try to get some wins in this video. First battle coming at you guys. You guys can tell my throat is still a little bit raspy. I feel a lot better though, and I feel like my voice will come back very, very soon. But for now, we are still grinding. We are still putting content out for you guys. But first battle here, he has two of the strongest Pokemon in the game right now, in my opinion. Rillaboom and Cinderace, both with their new abilities, Liberio and Grassy Surge. They rock out. He also has Lapras, the Rallodon, Whimsicott, and Tokus. Hopefully we can uh we can uh leave off where we kind of left off in the last video we were two and one we were playing very very well so hopefully we can bring that energy and wins over on this side but i'm definitely gonna leave grimson off try to get off those screens roll from there he might lead the round on he might lead the round on the round on's an absolute monster but who do i want to go into from there eat the round on um i don't want to go either braviary or uh magnezone here he might go whimsicott I mean, if he goes Whimsicott, I could Dynamax and just start taking Speed Avenge. Start rolling from there. I'm just going to go Braviar here. Maybe drop a big old Brave Bird. Uh, let's bring Magnezone because he's tons of fun. He's a blast to have around. Especially he is super effective to two of them. And maybe three if the uh, Cinderace goes for an Airstream. And then either Hydreigon or Pult. Hydreigon or Pult. Ski, yeah. What do I want? I don't want, uh, I don't want Hydre or Dragapult here. Let's, let's run it. Let's run it, yo. I don't know, dude. That's a tough call. Dragapult or Hydreigon. They're both so good. They're both so good and they have their different uh, uses. Like, the Hydreigon has uh, different uh, coverage moves with the Dark Pulse and all that. Well, that's his stab move, but he has other coverage moves and all that. But Dragapult is so good, especially he has that Life Orb. And it's always good to bring in your Life Orb Mon. But who's he going to lead? Lapras and Tokus. Okay, I definitely thought he was going to get the route on, but still, I'm pretty sure I saw the Tokus coming. And then Lapras, that's fine as well. Okay, so he's probably going to Dynamax. Well, probably. He's. 100% gonna Dynamax. He's gonna throw me off. Don't Dynamax. I'm gonna set up this light screen though. Light screen. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll just start pestering, throwing around stuff. Um, I wish I did have Protect here though. I wish I did have Protect. I am gonna drop an Iron Head over onto the Stoke side. He, like, dude, he's setting up that Aurora Bell. We already know what you're doing. Don't follow me. I'm not gonna hit him with a close combat because this thing could be weakness policy. I'm gonna wait for him to actually drop the ice. But that actually will probably take on my Braviary. Maybe not with light screen. Maybe not with the light screen. Here's Dynamax. Like I said, you know, 100% he's Dynamax in that lap. Everybody does it. It is just a thing. It is a known thing going on. So good. It is so good. They should come out with uh, more G Max forms, in my opinion. That do, like, like have a big effect, such as his Lapras. It is insane how much this Lapras can take control of a game. Set up an Aurora Bell. Do big damage as well. It's just crazy. Light Screen comes out. Bingo. There you go. There you go. Big ol' Light Screen. Gonna help us out. Iron Head comes out first. No Babiri Berry going on there. So we can do a decent amount of damage with that coverage move. 
I wish we would have uh, been able to flinch it, but it did go first. He's gonna drop this uh, resonance, obviously. We saw that coming. And Braviar is gonna eat, yo. He gonna eat. He's gonna eat. Okay, so for, for right now, I do not need to reflect. So I think I might just drop a T wave over onto that. Uh... I mean, is he gonna go for another follow me? I think I still drop a T wave. Or I could double up in the Toki slot. I think I am gonna double up in the Toki slot. And drop an Iron Him. No way Tokus protects. No way Tokus protects. Because I don't want him just going for a follow me and then my T-Wave kind of being a waste. When we can double up into Tokus and potentially get a KO. And then uh, start pestering the next turn. Let's see. Bruh. What you mean? Yo, this dude read me, yo. I was just thinking that after I hit my play. I was like, this thing, this thing not going to protect. He makes a huge play here. He's going to set up the geyser. Go after my Braviar again. Right? No, he goes up the Grimmy Pit. And just dumps on it. Absolutely mercs on it. He gets a crit. That's why. Yo, what you mean? Yo, get out my face. Get out my face, dude. Whack. That is so whack. He didn't make a good read with the protect, but the crit is whack. And you guys know that. Uh, we can go Magazine. We can go Magazine. Which I'm 100% gonna go Magazine. Magazine, get out here, big dog. Okay, so we're gonna bring out Magazine. I wish that we did have a what's called here. That would be awesome. If we had a. Uh, What's called Tailwind. Tailwind would have been nice. But definitely got a Dynamax him. He's our boy. Let's check out his stats real quick. Let's check out his stats. I didn't really give a peek out his stats just yet. Let's get him over here. I gotta watch out for the uh, the Lapras here. I'm not gonna hit the Lapras. Look at that, yo. Look at that special attack, bro. Two Hundo. And I just wanna see, uh, was this thing like late? It was not. So it's definitely a weakness policy. I'm not gonna get after it just yet. I'm gonna actually uh, hit the fight button. I am gonna Dynamax and I am gonna drop a Max Lightning over onto the Toka slot. That thing is not protecting. And I might actually swap you. Now, you know what? We're just going to drop a Brave Bird. Do some damage over on the Lapras. Get it, Magnezo. Get out there, boy. This thing's caught in a Master Ball. Yeah, you love to see it. Love to see it. Let's get it. But that thing really just one shot at my Grimstar. I would have loved to have it for another turn. At least get off a of Paralyzed. Or maybe our own fight. That could have been huge in the game. But he does have a roar bell. He's definitely going for a what's it called here. A uh take out with the Toga Kiss onto my Brave Yard side. He's gonna try to take me out, and then he's gonna go for a geyser over on my magazine. zone. Lightning comes out, so Toga Kiss is dead. The thing we do outspeed that thing. Bye bye, Toga Kiss. Get out of my face. Get him out of here. Get him gone. You're out of here. Uh Lapras will this will be his last turn, and he might actually protect next turn. I think that's when I drop my close combat. He's got a geyser me, right? Got it, guys. I mean, oh, he's going for a resonance. Okay, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Okay, Braviar, you can go down there. You can go down there, Braviar. I'm so cool with that. I am so cool with that. Okay. Braviar, you down? I seriously thought he's gonna go for the guys or try to get as much damage as he can out. And now it comes down to Dynamax Magnet Zone. He has no Dynamax. He does have a Roar Bell. We have Light Screen, so hopefully he has a uh, special attackers coming out here. And then we have Dragapult here. Big old Life Orb Dragapult coming out. Any shiny, yo? Any shiny? Look at Spippy, yo. Randy's always doing some work. He's always doing some work. And there's the scary mon right there. There is the scary mon. The Cinderace. The Cinderace. Uh, let's go we'll outspeed it. Uh, I think I'm going to read a protect here. This thing might bounce. This thing might bounce. And this thing might, uh, might protect. There's two options. I'd rather go after the Lapras. I'd rather just go after the Lapras. Um, I'm going to Phantom Force drop. I'm gonna Phantom Force drop out of here. Let's see what happens here. That does protect. Incinerate's gonna bounce. He's gonna sucker punch. Okay, that's gonna fail. That is going to fail. We are not hitting you right now. We're not hitting you. Oh, it doesn't fail? It doesn't fail? What you mean? Bruh, even if I. Bruh, I did not know that. I did not know that. What you mean? That's whack. But uh, GG, I guess. Nah, it comes out to my uh, magazine here. Magic Zone is still doing some work. Gonna trigger weakness policy. But, bruh, I thought since we weren't attacking that turn. Oh, you're not weakness policy? Okay. I'm fine with it. But I thought since, uh. Since that thing wasn't. Oh, you actually, should I take out Cinerase here? I don't want to. I'm gonna go after Cinerase. But, uh. I thought since Phantom Force wasn't hitting, Sucker Punch wouldn't come through. But, of course it did, and it just marked on me, took me out. I jump it comes through. You. Super effective, and it just marks. It just marks. Brings me down to my weakness policy. And that is going to be game. Lapras is going to pick up the KO here and take me out. Man, 
If that sucker punch didn't hit, I think we would have been chilling just fine. I think we would have been just fine here. Let's get it. Cassino race would have been gone. Get it out of here. I think it's still doing work. Still doing work. Yeah, I was like, okay, we're not hitting this turn, so sucker punch cannot land. Oh, he drops a parasol. Hold the vote. You're saying there's a chance. They're saying there's a chance. I mean, he, he was probably just going to start protecting out. Though, if he protects here with Lapras, and I dump on this Duraludon, there's a chance. There's a chance. We could go body press, but we're going to have to go body press. It's like our only move. And we got to hope uh, he actually goes for the protect. So we're going here. Body pressing coming out here. I don't think our uh, plus uh, our weakness policy boost will actually help out body press because it's all on defense. So we'll see what happens. But still, I, I, yeah, I'm thinking we're going down 0-1. But still, not a bad battle. Not a bad battle, in my opinion. Few few little things that went wrong. We missed. Well, he got a crit. I didn't know Sucker Punch hits through. You guys call me noob. I don't really care. I did not know that. But there are two big things right there. I really want to get off of Paralyze, especially on one Pokemon. Probably on that Lapras. That could have been huge. Lapras does protect. Yo. Hold up. Hold up. Show me we take out this Duraludon in one shot. Nope, Duraludon just outspeeds us anyway. No! I was hoping Magazone outspeeds the Duraludon, takes him out, and then we could have just easily T-bolted that and uh, take out the Lapras. But I don't think a body press would have took it out. We go 0-1. Let's hop into our second battle and try to get our first win for this video. Porygon Z team up for our second battle. You guys already know, adaptability Porygon Z is so good. Hits like an absolute truck. He also has Terrakion. Probably beat up Terrakion with that Whimsicott, Togekiss, Amoongus, and he's got the Incineroar. I'm definitely going to lead a Braviary in case he wants to go into that, uh, in case he wants to go into that Incineroar, we can define boost and kind of just Dynamax roll out from there. And then something to take out that Terrakion, or at least do some work onto it. Um, do I go into, uh, what is he? He's fighting in rock, right? He's fighting in rock. E, who should I go for that? E, where am I going? I don't even know. I could go scope lens Tokus. Could do that. Just drop a big old fairy move. I think we're gonna do that. If we really want to, we're gonna go that that. Oh no, you know? Hmm. I don't think he's gonna lead. I'm gonna withdraw. I, th I don't think he's gonna lead. Uh, Incineroar, just for that pack. I'm gonna go Grimmsnarl. I'm gonna roll off from there. Uh, we go double dragon here. Oh, he has two fairy Pokemon. I'll bring one of the dragons in Magnezone. Get in your magazine, especially because he has a sturdy ability that can come up clutch in the end. And I think we go Hydreigon. I think we get Hydreigon up in here, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I absolutely love Screens Grimmsnarl. It is so good. It is so good. Set him up, especially because it learns Prankster ability. You set up the screens, and you have T Wave and all that. Like I said, I wanted a Klefki team, but the, like, I love Klefki and all that. But you can't beat out Prankster ability. You cannot do that. It is so good. Just that first turn priority always rocks out, especially with the screens Pokemon. He goes Porygon Z and Tokus. Okay. I'm with it. I'm with it, dog. What you want? We're going to definitely set up that light screen. Hands down, light screen's coming out here. Um, and then we'll paralyze and roll from there. Dun, 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 dun. Do I even Dynamax? Because he's going to Dynamax. I know that for a fact. It could just follow me. Hmm. Hmm. I could just Dynamax, drop a Starfall. Change terrain, boost our speed. We're gonna do that. We're gonna Dynamax Tokus this round. Set up that light screen, and then we'll just start pestering with T waves left and right, throwing them around. Let's get it. Let's get it. I want speed advantage. I want it. I want it, dog. But obviously, Dynamax Porygon. Everyone already knows that thing. This thing's going for some max strikes. He's gonna slow us down, but we're just gonna neglect it with our max air shoot. It's so good. Oh my god, adaptability is so good. This is too good, man. Bring him out. Let's go. Let's go, Tokus. We ain't playing around. Do you want Dynamax? We're gonna Dynamax as well. We're gonna get after us. Try to take him out. But we already know he's going for the bombies. Hopefully we can uh, rely on the super luck and the scope lines to give us some crits. I think everyone else is getting crits with it. Why can't I get it? Let's go, Togi Wogi. Get it, baby! Let's see what happens here. Light screen comes out. Yes, sir. Just wait. What well, we need it. Gonna help us eat up some of those Porygon shots. Is Palmy gonna come out? Nope. Dazzle Gleam just gets uh, thrown out here. Grimstarl eats it up so well. Tokus eats that up even better. And the Max Strike coming out here. Probably up against Grimstarl, I guess. Nope. Tokus. Okay, I'm climbing it. Thank you, Light Screen. Thank you. We could definitely eat up a. Uh, I think we can eat up another one of them. He's gonna drop. That's fine. We're just gonna boost it back to normal. I'm going to paralyze uh, Tokus next. Or not Tokus, Porygon Z. We'll at least aim for it. If he goes for a follow me, then that's fine. Get a nice big old damage. Was that a crit? Was that a lovely crit? You do get a lovely crit. Yeah, you'd love to see it. 
You would love to see it, baby. Um, I could block here. I could block. I really could. But I'm not going to do that. I'm, I think I'm just going to airstream again. Because I don't want them to keep lowering our speed. I'm just going to airstream again. And I'm just going to drop a T-Wave over. Or at least try to get off on this Porygon. If he goes for a follow me, he's just going to slide over to the Togus. Yep, there's follow me. Kind of saw that. That works for me. I'm chilling. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. We'll paralyze that thing. Get it out of here. Yeah, give it that little T-Wave. Yo, okay, so burns neg or neglect physical damage. Why doesn't poison do the same thing for special? I just never understood that. Well, he goes for this. We're going to be able to eat that up just fine. I'm cool with it. Tokus might... Is Tokus going to be able to eat this up? Oh, he might be able to get the... Uh, he might be able to outspeed next turn to Porygon. We should be able to as we're going to be plus one. Porygon's going to take some damage. And Airstream's going to flow out here. We're cool with that. Nice big damage. Oh, Togekiss coming in. Coming in big. Get a nice little crit there. You'd love to see it. Okay. Um, I think I might max guard here. I might max guard with my Tokus. I think I'm going to do that. We're going to outspeed next turn. I'm gonna, definitely going to max guard here. And I'm going to go uh, drop a Spirit Break. I'm going to drop a Spirit Break over onto this Togekiss slot. I'm hoping we can kill it. There goes our guard. Playing defensively here. Tokus cannot move. Oh, you love it. You love it. Max Strike coming out. Okay, okay, I'll give us two props here. I'll give us two props. Makes a nice call here. Reads me hard. I could have came up big here. I could have came up big there. He reads me hard. Picks up the KO. And he, get, and he gets another follow me chance off. Do you have anybody with a double hitting move? Hmm. Flash cannon, T-Bowl, body press. No, I do not. I do not. It means it's not. Uh, do, I, do I scarf it here? I right, play this one. Hmm. I kind of want somebody we're protecting here as well, but no, we do not. Uh, we're going to go in with... Let's go Hydreigon. Let's get Hydreigon rolling up in here. I'm so worried about this thing. I am so worried about this thing. He's definitely going to go for the follow me. We cannot take out the Porygon. Porygon's going to get off another shot of Hyper Beam. The exact, which is nuts. Or I, can, I might just follow me this. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow me this. It's Hyper Beam. I'm cool with that. I think we're going to see double follow me. Let's check out this Pokemon before I uh, do choice to a move. Like, who else do I think he brought? Incineroar? He had to bring Incineroar. But we have a special attacker, so I'm cool with it. Uh, we're definitely going to follow me this. We'll go... It's either Dragon Pulse or uh, Dark Pulse. Mm. I'd rather get the Flinch Chance. I'd really rather get the Flinch Chance going around. Yeah, especially with Tokus in here, I cannot choice into a... Uh, I really cannot choice into the dragon move. Okay, so follow me comes out. Is he gonna go for follow me as well? He does not. Oh, dude, that's lovely. That is lovely. Get that Porygon Z out of here. But still, we gotta watch out for this Dazzling Gleam. Please be paralyzed. Be paralyzed. Dang it, man. Dazzling Gleam comes out here. That might take out my Hydreigon. Nope, Light Screen's coming up clutch. Oh my god, and Togekiss is able to eat that up. Togekiss is able to eat that one up. That's awesome. That's so nice. So my Tokus could potentially get off another turn, depending on what his next Pokemon is. And remember, we still do have Magazine in the back. And Terrakion does come out. Terrakion's really fast. Terrakion is really fast, but not faster than his Hydreigon. He's not faster than his Hydreigon. I go for a Dazzling Gleam. And I can roll out with a Dark Pulse, which, hey, that's, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I don't want to get this Tokus out the way. I do have Body Press for him. This one's going to be close. This one's going to be really close. I'm gonna try to make this Terrakion flinch, if anything. I'm gonna try to make a flinch! Yeah, yo, shiny Terrakion, that's phenomenal. I just noticed that. Like, yo, that's sick. Follow me comes out. Okay, that's fair. Follow me. He's gotta drop a rock slide, right? He's gotta drop a rock slide. Can Dark Pulse KO? I don't think it will. Does not. Whack. Whack sauce. Rock slide comes out. Who's dodging it? Togekiss dodge it. Double dodge, baby. Double dodge. Yo, our luck is changing, and we pick up the double kill. This dude is so mad. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. We had a little bit of bad luck in the last one with that when that dude crit it with his Lapras. So, we'll take that one. Oh, my lord. That just won us the game. That just won us the game. Yo, that is hype. That is hype. Guys, I know that was lucky. I know that is lucky, but we'll take those. We take those, though. This dude's so mad. Tim Nate comes out. We still have our sturdy... Uh, Magnezone in the back, so we can definitely eat up a shot and get off one. 
and Hajigon will be able to outspeed, and I'm gonna go for an Air Slash. I'm gonna try to go for the double flinch moves. Dang, dude, Dark Pulse was probably the worst move I could choose. <laughs> it's all these people who eat up Dark moves. But I can keep going for flinches. And we looking good now. Battle was canceled. Yo, you love to see it, baby. One and one, we're gonna hop into our third and final battle and try to get a winning record here. Ladies and gentlemen, this one's gonna be tough. Look at this dude's team. Sun team right here with Venusaur, probably G-Max Venusaur, Rillaboom, absolute monster, Cinderace, absolute monster, Incineroar, an absolute monster, Tokus is a beast too, and he has Torkoal. And he has Torkoal to set the sun, so this one's gonna be a tough one for us, but hopefully we can pull this out for you guys and the Jeans online gaming community, baby. Let's get it. Uh, do I have to start off with screens? I think screens can help us out a lot again. Set up that light screen reflect. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Now what I want to do? Is that what I want to do? Hmm. Gotta watch out for that sucker punch, dude. Everyone knows that sucker punch is so annoying. Uh, who do I think is gonna lead? Maybe Torkoal Venusaur? He could. He knowing that I, I have no way of uh, resetting the weather or anything, and then start going for uh. This one's gonna be so hard, man. I might go Hydreigon. I don't know who to lead. Uh, we could go. Let's go Tokus actually again. If he goes Venusaur, then he might put me to sleep. That's so tough. That's so tough. All right, we're going to go there. Um, I'm going to go Magnezone again. And then I think we're going to bring Polt. I think Polt's going to rock out here. I think Polt is going to rock out here. I just got to watch out. Actually, Polt's clear body, so to Intimidate does nothing. It does nothing. Just got to watch out for the fake outs and all that good stuff. Uh, he might lead in Sinor. I mean, that'd be a fine lead, but I don't think he is considering... Well, if he looked at my team, he was probably like, okay, he has Defiant Braviary. Incineroar's out for a lead right now. Unless, he, unless he's thinking, yo, I'm not going to do it. Let's see what he goes into. Real Boom Incinerace. The Wombo Combo right here. So strong. He might just sweep me right here. He's going to Dynamax one of them. Probably the, uh, well, probably the Cinderace. And then just roll out with Grass Surges and all that. So I got to set up a Reflect easily here. The Reflect is coming out, and I think I'm going to drop an Air Slash. Well, he's definitely going to fake me out. So, hmm. He's going to fake out and try to take one of my Pokemon out. So, oh, yo, this thing's holding Grassy Seeds for the defensive boost. Yo, you crazy, dog. This thing's crazy. Uh, I'll try to set up the reflect, but I think he is going to definitely pick me out. And I could just go for an air slash, or I could go for a heat wave. I think air slash would be better. Get stab damage going, and a potential flinch. Even though they, they're both going to outspeed me here. Like I said, fake out's coming. I think Dynamax in the race. And this dude's going to get after it. going to get after it. You guys want to catch my streams? I haven't even said this today. Uh, link, is in the description. link is in the description below. Blah. Can't even speak right now. But yeah, link to my streams are in the description below. I know I haven't been streaming recently. But yo, know, starting this week when this video goes live, I'm probably like about to go live. So head down that link. Jeans25 on Twitch. Hit that follow button. Turn on notifications. But here comes the Dynamax. It's gotta be Cinderace, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why did they have to give all these starters hidden abilities that were so good? Because now they are all over the meta, and everybody only used these Pokemon. Grassy, oh, Grassy guy comes out. So my Reflect is going to be able to come off here. That's whack that Prankster doesn't beat out a Grassy guy in Grassy Surge. Should go first. Stinks. Max Steel Spike coming out here. He's going to switch, and we can say bye-bye to Tokus. Actually, go after my Grimstar. Okay, never mind. Bye-bye to Tokus. The Reflect coming in clutch. The Reflect coming in clutch. And we're going to be able to get off this wonderful airstream here. And I'm going to paralyze up on that. Uh, I'm definitely paralyzing up on that. Uh, oh, whatchamacallit. Oh, nice damage. Oh, nice damage. Let's get it. Big old damage. And I'm definitely going to paralyze up on that scenery. So that could be huge for us. To have this going out here. Do I really need a light screen? Let's check out his Pokemon. Uh... Maybe I could see him bringing Venusaur and Torkoal. Tough call here. Oh, Grass Guide will not take us out. Oh, he's going to go after my Tokus. I might just follow me the shot. I'm going to follow me. Come here. Come here. Got to keep Grimstar alive. Grimstar is definitely going to get off this T-Wave on the Cinderace, which is going to be big for us. Is Grass Guide coming out here? Grass Guide is coming out here. Eat this up, yo. Eat this up. Oh, man. I was hoping he was going to be able to eat it up, maybe on like 1 HP. But yeah, Steel Spike is going to come out here. Unless, unless this thing is paralyzed here. That could be huge. Let me get up the light screen. Show it to me. Oh, baby, yo. Oh, baby. We're sitting good now. We looking good. I'm feeling good. We looking good. Who am I getting out next? I think Polt's got to come out here and save my Magnezone. 
Now save that magazine. Why could Dynamax pull here? And roll from there. Definitely get off this light screen. And then... We will outspeed that thing, so I can't go for a dragon move. But he does have the dark move as well. Definitely gotta set up this light screen for us. Help us out in the long run. I could just protect and wait for that thing to die, uh, lose its turn. I think it's what we're gonna do. Or I could, I'm just gonna actually Phantom Force right here. And drop down and grab this roll move. That's the play. That is the play, baby. There's the guy coming out here. Eat that up, Paul. Thank you very much. Easy eats. Light screen coming out here. Cause he's got, I think he's gonna go for the max darkness from the sucker punch. You go after my Polski. Phantom Force dropping. So, uh, Robin will be dead next turn. He can uh, protect out. And then I can uh, have a choice of Dynamax. Uh, oh, he's paralyzed again. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Leave him alone. Now I get off another paralyze on the next Pokemon. Um, hmm. I'm just going to hit up on the Cinderace. I'm going to hit up on the Cinderace slot. Going through a nice little spear break. Just do a little bit of damage to him. I don't think Robin's eating up this, uh, this, what's it called? No way Robin's eating up this Phantom Force. Get him out of my face. He dead. Gone. Get it out. Get him gone, kids. Alright, let's see what happens from here. Dragapult's gonna lose some HP. Three turns? Three turns, are you serious? Bruh, Jean's luck is on today. Jean's luck is on today. Three turns, bruh? Bruh, three stinking turns. Nuts. That is nuts. Three turns, my dude. I'm thinking of Dynamax in that, uh... I don't know, let's see who he goes into. Is he gonna get Torkoal? Or is he gonna go Venusaur? He's gonna go Torkoal. I think I got a Dynamax to do work on it right now. That's a fact, right? I got a Dynamax to do work on it right now. Uh, we definitely got to T-Wave that thing. And I'm gonna go for a Worm Wind. Just to lower that thing's attack, the Cinerasis. Dude, it's still so good. Do I Dynamax here? Yeah, I think I do. I think I do. Let's get after it. I don't know, was this the right call? We gotta see, because he has Venusaur. He does have Venusaur if he's bringing Torkoal. And hopefully this, uh, the Surge can actually slow down a little bit. He has defense plus one on the Cinerasis. I gotta remember that. I don't want him just going to an, into an eruption and just dump it on me, so I gotta do some damage on this Torkoal right here, right now. Finally sending my Dynamax. I think we're in a safe position to send this Dynamax. This thing actually might suck a bunch. But maybe he thought I was dropping into a Phantom Force, so maybe he was just going for an Iron Head over all my boy. That could be really good. We boost that HP up. We're back up into the two hundos. 246. Not bad HP. I'll take that all day. This thing's gonna go for it. Well, my Grimstar is gonna go for a T Wave. Awesome. Paralyze that thing and just pester around. The Paralyzes are on today. Let's see if we can get this uh, Cinerace for four turns in a row. That'd be absurd. That'd be absurd. Lerman comes out here. Big old damage on that thing. We're gonna get a minus one onto the Cinerace, which is actually gonna be huge. Gonna help us out in the long run. Torkoal's attack is gonna drop as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. Show me four turns. Show me four in a row. Bro, stop. Stop it. Are you serious? Yo, you cannot make these things up. You cannot make these things up. I, I apologize. I seriously apologize to whoever I am playing up against because I know this is absolutely absurd the amount of luck I have right now. It is absurd. Seriously, I hope this is a viewer and if it is you, I'm going to write you a personal letter sincerely with like a, what is it, the, the ink and feather. I will write it in ink and feather with a little parchment paper and I'll send it to you sincerely. Sorry, this is from Jeans. Like, jeez, man, this is bad, bad. Um, we go after Torkoal again? Yeah. Hit that Torkoal. I gotta start doing some damage, everyone. To that, uh, that Cinder. That Cinder Rage, yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it, baby. Torkoal might protect. Sucker Punch comes out. Oh, he does land it. You little biscuit. He has minus one, which is nice. So, Paralyze turns over, and look at that, yo. Easy eats, baby. Easy eats. This is my last turn? No, this is my. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. We're jumping. Oh, he changed type. Is you buttery biscuit, dude? You buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit, my dude. We got the defense drop. Let's get this spirit break. Spirit break is actually gonna make this thing minus one. We can do less damage on the special attack board. Let's get it. This match is going a little bit longer, but we're sitting pretty good. There we go. Minus one. Get out of my face. 
This thing's life orb, isn't it? So we'll be able to take it out next turn. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I really apologize. I, I like, I don't even know what to do. I could, if this was my side, I'd be freaking out. I'd be freaking out. Like, I wouldn't be having it. If it goes for another sucker punch, I'm gonna just drop that thing. I'm gonna uh, end this circle with that worm win. I'm so sorry for this thing. I don't even know what to say anymore. Another paralyze. Another paralyze. This dude's not having it. We're probably gonna pick up the double kill here. Holy bananas, yo. Like, I'm like at an 80% chance of just hitting these paralyzes. It's absurd. Spirit Break comes out here. It's gonna be super effective and stab. Let's see if we can take it out. Nope. This thing's not a heavy hitter. But still, we get some nice damage off on the thing. Minus it. Special attack. Like, it would matter. We are burned. We are burned, man. It stinks. Uh, that was a huge part of that. Bean Bean comes out. Um, he has one thing I do gotta watch out for. Hopefully, I, my Dragon Pokemon out speed. If it doesn't put me to sleep. He's gonna go for a Sucker Punch, I think. Hmm. I'm just gonna T-Wave. I gotta, I gotta keep the Pester going. I'm gonna protect here. I'm gonna protect. Try to, try to waste out this sun. All this good stuff here. Then it, then it, then it, then it. Cause he's gotta go for the, uh, the Sucker Punch. I think that's what he's aiming for. So if I can get paralyzed and try to waste out this sun over here. My screens are chilling. We still have our sturdy Magnezone in the back. So it's actually gonna come cut or, or come close. Like if we didn't get all these paralyzes, we were easily losing this match. Easily. Let's see, Grimstar I'm gonna look for I'm looking to be MVP in this match. Get it, Grimmy Poo. Landis Landis, buddy. Sucker Punch comes out. <laughs> Stinks, man. T Wave comes out. We land that. We land this dude. And we come in after you. And now we come in Oh my god, did they buff paralyzed rates? They must have. Hmm. I'm just drop a spear break. I wish I had like a first turn priority move. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna just let him go after this. I'm just, I'm just go for another protect. If he wants to go for another sucker punch, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. There we go. That's why I'm fine. I'm fine with that. 100. I'm so sorry. I don't. I don't even know what to say anymore. This is bad. This is bad. Like, it's bad. Sunlight fades. It has no speed anymore. I guess, um, I, I really do apologize. Uh, we're gonna double up into the scenery slot. I'll steal wing over there. Oh my lord. This dude can't even get off a turn. He better cancel battle. He better cancel battle. Like, this is bad, dude. <laughs> Somebody let me know in the comment section down below at the end of this battle how many paralyzes we got on him We got to be pushing 10. We got to be pushing 10. There's a lot. Seriously, let me know I would love to know in the comment section down below you guys rock. This is hilarious Good. Okay, sucker punch comes out Oh, he takes out Grimmy poo. Oh, and he eats and he gets a crit and we ate it yo get out of here Steel wing comes out. Oh, you lucky little biscuit spirit break pick up the KO. Thank you spirit break Spirit Break comes out here, picks up the KO. Yo, watch this. Watch this Venusaur. Watch how made it's gonna be. Ready? Paralyze, paralyze, paralyze. Oh my lord, yo, this dude. <laughs> this dude is freaking out. He probably just broke his controller. There's holes in his wall. Desk is flipped. Monitor or TV, whatever he's playing on, is broken now. He's freaking out. Get Magnezone out of here. Seriously, somebody let me know how many paralyzes. Is absurd. Did they like buff paralyzes? Like I haven't even like been keeping up with this game. They must have buffed paralyzes or something along those lines. This is absurd. Oh, we're gonna go for an outrage here. Yeah, we're going for an outrage. Be outraging, baby. Outrage coming out. Yeah, you yeah, get him. Ba 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 ba. That's game. That's game set match. Got outspeed Magnezone and be, be paralyzed. Flash cannon comes out. Nope. Magnezone coming out here, clutching it up. Gonna win this battle. Because of the paralyzes. MVP goes to Grimstar. Seriously, let me know in the comment section down below how many paralyzes. We go 2-1 and, and we grab that winning record.
Let's go. We picked up that winning record for you guys. We went 2-1. Not bad. Shout out to my boy Randy for dropping the team. I absolutely love it. Like I said, I love screen Pokemon like Grimstone. And that T-Wave came up clutch. So many paralyzers, and it was so much fun. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.